Well, good morning from a very sunny Aonang this morning. Today, our plan, we are hoping to hire our own long tail boat for the day to go island hopping. We're planning on doing the four island tour, which is a must if you come to Aonang. We last did this about five years ago and it was absolutely spectacular. We're hoping to do the same again and we're hoping to book a boat on the day. So let's see if we can. So we're going to do the five island tour, which is the same one that we did last time. Although they did call it the four island tour last time, but it didn't include the cave. It's going to be another good day, I feel. We can book it on the day and we've got a driver ready to go. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Hi, good morning. 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 Oh, so Come on then, climb aboard. Oh, oh, oh. Way. I'm <laughs> oh, and I'm on. <laughs> Ahoy there, sailors. Captain Parks, back on the seas again. So this is our quarters for the day. Oh, beautiful. Not too beautiful. shabby. Beautiful. I think uh, I think we've stayed in worse hotels on this trip. <laughs> yeah, I think we have actually. <laughs> Okay, so this is our first stop and we are at Tub Island. So last time we were here, it wasn't this busy. <laughs> you did leave a bit earlier though as well. Sorry that you're seeing my, uh, my chest, but it is uh, trying to get a, a nice colour. <laughs> but yeah, the water is so clear here. So it's starting to get quite rocky as we get close to the beach so just be careful of your feet if you come here i've nearly fallen over twice <laughs> <laughs> there he is james bond getting on the beach what a man what a man what are your thoughts james bond it's nice isn't it it's just it's just a shame we've got here at the wrong time so it's just packed last time we came here we, we set off really early morning I think we were like one of the only boats to hit the island and now it looks so different but I'm sure this is the bit here that gets exposed as a sandbank uh, when the tide's out but I can't really remember it's, your memory kind of fades as you get older we travel far and wide for seas like this scenery like this it's just amazing and this is only one island just off the coast of Aonang and there are better islands than this as well but this is a great taster to start with so it does seem now that they're taking the environment very seriously so there's fines in place if you damage the coral reef if you litter fly drones uh, feed the fish so it's nice to see that they are doing the bit now to uh, to protect the environment and the seas a bit more Time to get back on the boat and head to the next island. <laughs> there you go, sir. Take my luggage. The what? Of dreams. The what now? Ship of dreams. Oh, that's it. 
Call me abroad. I certainly am. Off we go. Uh, we have actually pulled in and it looks a bit of a snorkeling spot you do have to swim to the beach if you do want to go to the beach here but the sea looks lovely everywhere what's up You're attacking you. Oh, this is so funny. So <laughs> they keep attacking John. So John swam over there. Down there we saw some great fish. Some tried to steal the show a certain breed. We're not sure what they were, but if you know what these kind of fish are, let us know in the comments because it's nice for us to know as well. So on to the next stop. We're now just approaching our next stop, which is Hoda Beach. I'm sure last time we were here we only came on the beach didn't we? Just do a bit of sunbathing and snorkeling but apparently there's actually a restaurant on here uh, that we didn't actually know about last time and if you need the toilet there's also apparently toilets here as well so we'll have a little walk around and show you what is here. There's a few of these little hut areas dotted around and uh, a lot of people with like free pat lunches so I'm guessing that if you do like your all-inclusive boat trips the shared ones i'm guessing these are your little lunch spots we found the restaurant and there's a bit of a queue now this could be really highly priced because they've got you here and then the quality might not be good because they know you're not going to come back so let's have a look anyway well, i can see a barbecue going on Ooh, i can smell the barbecue actually it smells yeah. good so let's uh, let's have a look exploring let's see Dropped his corn. I paid 200 pounds for that, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> Crispy chicken skin. Why not? Give it a go. And I think we'll grab some watermelon as well. Try me a bit healthy. Yeah. So, got some watermelon and some. So much ch crispy chicken skin. Crispy chicken skin. Because we all know that when you have a joint of meat or something, such as a chicken or a pork, the skin's always the best bit. There's no lie. So, prices uh, the chicken skin was 60 baht and the watermelon was 80. Uh, we didn't get drinks because we've got water already, um, so I'm sorry, I don't know what the drinks are. Right, let's give this crispy chicken skin a go, and it really is crispy as well, it looks mm. absolutely fun. Oh, can you hear that mm. crunch? That is, that is special. Mm. What are you doing? Operating on it. Who's removing the seeds? Just eating. No. No, because my mum told me that when I was young, that if you eat fruit seeds, that a watermelon tree 
I'm throwing my belly in. I don't want it. <laughs> I'm nearly 30 and I still believe it. <laughs> So we've just pitched up here in the shade because it is so hot and John's already made a beeline for the sea. Right, so we're back on the boat now and I think we're heading to uh, Franan Cave and Rayleigh Beach. Okay then, so here we are at Rayleigh Beach and this is quite nice actually because we'll, we thought that it was just going to stop at the cave which is nice because we've not been here before so oh. there's lots of uh, bars and restaurants well I say lots, there's like one, two, like three yeah. so ooh, we might even get a drink So there's even more to this Amazing, it's just not what I expected at all. Did not expect it. It's uh, I mean, stuff is a little slightly higher priced than in our now, but it's not massive, but it's overpriced by you know, by much. So a quick stop now for uh, something to drink, and we've spotted a lychee milkshake 50 baht. <laughs> Um, it's not what I expected. It's lovely. Thank you. Lovely. Thank you. Is yours going to be better than mine? I expect so. Hang on, let's turn you around. Oi! Okay, so she didn't have enough lychee to do two lychees, so I've gone for a mango instead. Enjoy your lychee. So you'll see these in pretty much every shop, they come in two sizes, small and large. We got the large, the small's 100 baht and the large is 150. So if you're looking for it, this is perfect for a family or for two people. That's, that's the size of it. So this is where we're going to enjoy our smoothies and that lovely view. So we're just about to go get back on the boat now and head to our final stop to visit the cave. But really, as a whole, I definitely recommend people coming here. I mean, it's a resort in itself, so you could quite easily come here and spend a few days here or a day and come and have some lunch and drinks but definitely a place to come and visit so it looks like i might have actually bypassed the cave because we're actually back <laughs> in our mountain Okay guys, so that is the end of our boat trip. We are back in our Nang now. Sadly, my hunch was right and we didn't get to visit Pranang Cave. I do believe it was because we ran out of time. So the boat hire was only till three o'clock and it is now 10 to three. So unfortunately, we didn't get to show you guys what it was like this time, but I do hope that you get a chance to visit. But on that note, we're gonna wrap it up there and thank you so much for watching. Make sure you smash that like button. It helps us out a lot, shows us some love. Say hi in the comments if you want to do, and we will see you on the next vlog. Make sure you subscribe because we are going to Kuala Lumpur. So we're gonna be there for three days and we're gonna take you around there and show you what there is to do in Kuala Lumpur. We will be coming to a city near you soon. Maybe so. See you next time. Bye.